Hey everybody, forgive the um, glare on the glasses, but um, at least we're outside, right? We're in the front of my house, and I am joined by Casey and Kamiley. Sorry, she's right there. Um, Lexi is in the house. I don't know. She just doesn't like to come out sometimes. It really, she loves the backyard, but she's scared of the front yard for some reason. Unless the smoke detector goes off. Go figure. So, um, just wanted to give you guys an update yet again. It seems like my whole life is like one big update. Um, I'm still feeling the same as yesterday. Um, I seem to have more anxiety today. It's always something. Um, but here's the thing. So all my lab work came back perfect. <laughs> Most people would be happy. I mean, I'm happy, but you know, who wants something wrong with them? But I want answers. Um, also my neck x-ray came back with C5 and C6, which, you know, C cervical, um, are degenerating, but we already sort of knew that three years ago, and I'll get into that in a second, but my nurse practitioner really doesn't feel like, of course the sirens have to go off, um, my headaches are from my neck, which I completely disagree with, so she suggested to get in touch with my ENT doctor, the one that did the surgery, to go back to him. What I did this morning was I moved the appointment up a week from the 10th to the 2nd. Um, my friend, who is not here, she's in Rancho Mirage, um, has been sending me messages and articles and she's super knowledgeable, like she's not Dr. Google. Um, and she doesn't claim to be, but she mentioned something yesterday that your anesthesia could very well stay in your system longer than a week or two or whatever. Her father actually experienced three months, but I'm not putting too much, you know, faith in that. It's just, is something to look into. So I told the nurse what I was experiencing and my nose is great. Just everything else is a hot mess. So I'm going to go see him. And then I also called and talked with my old chiropractor who I love, I love, I love, I love so much. I called at seven, not knowing what time it was, um, knowing that they did open at seven, just not on Tuesdays. <laughs> and I'm like, oh crap, it's Tuesday. And I hung up really fast. And I guess my number showed up on caller ID and he called me immediately and he's like, hi, how are you? And yeah, the last time I saw you was 2015. Um, we discussed things going back and forth and right, I guess he had my chart with him and he said, um, yeah, your C1 and your C2 and your C3 were pretty screwed up when I saw you last time for headaches and neck pain. Now I guess we're dealing with everything between C1 and C6. Um, so, but here's the thing. It's all about the insurance. Sorry, I am a hot mess. Which it always is. Um, so they took all my information down when I called back and spoke with the nurse. And they're going to look into seeing if I am covered with him. If I'm not, I am SOL. There's, I, I will not and I cannot pay out of pocket. I will not, will not, will not. As much as I would love to see him um, and get treated by him, and it's not that far. It was way farther when I lived in Burlingame. Um, his office hours are completely screwed up. They are 7 to 10, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So he's virtually closed between... 10 and 3, which is crazy. I don't know why you would do that. But I guess to give himself a break, considering he has a ton of patients, but why would you need five hours? And then he's completely closed on Thursdays. He is open on Saturday mornings. So, please, cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your eyes, send the prayers, 
that I am able to see him. Um, the third thing is I am not going to go through with my kidney ultrasound. I, again, I spoke with my nurse practitioner yesterday via message and I'm like, is this really necessary or is it just another 35 bucks that I'm going to get reamed with? And, you know, my blood pressure is perfect in all of this. It's crazy how perfect it is at the height of my worst feeling, which was either Saturday or Sunday. Like I thought I was going to lose my mind or run to the emergency room. It was absolutely perfect. It was something like 118 over 70, and a, my heart rate was like 85 or something. Perfect. So I don't think it has anything to do with that. I'm very, very shaky today. I can feel it. It's anxiety because a lot of stuff is going on that I have no control over, um, especially the chiropractor. I'm very, very curious to see if I'm able to see him or not. So, um, yeah, that's, that's just about what's going on. Um, I'm waiting for my realtor, ex-realtor friend to show up, um, so she can take, I'll show you my plums that I've been harvesting every single day. This is from this morning and two people have already come to get them. Um, I don't know if you can see them or not. There you go. This is literally, um, I want to say at least a couple pounds and fruit around here oh you want to go in babe okay let's go inside let's go inside let's go let's go let's go let's go sorry come on no before your brother gets out go go come on before your brother gets out there's lexi there's brother charlie there's Misha. um anyways um so fruit around here is something like 350 a pound for plums and I've been giving them away in abundance, abundance, because I have a whole tub to myself in my refrigerator, like I showed you guys yesterday. Um, I just go out there a couple times a day, harvest them, pick them off the tree, pick them off the ground, um, wash them, and then I stick them out for people, and people are making plum jam. Um, a couple of people have promised to bring me either jam or jelly, um, just as a thank you. I would love that. There's nothing better than like plum jelly. I like jelly better than jam because of there's no seeds in plums. I mean, not aside from the big one, but um, so I'm hoping to get that. So yeah, I'm gonna um dash off of here. Somebody else is coming for plums pretty soon, and everybody goes crazy. Um, I have to. I'll show you guys this paperwork. All this. I've had it for a week. I sort of need to get on it because it's regarding my therapy appointment. It is totally like not just yes or no or answer, you know, multiple questions. It's like you have to write everything that she is asking. And it's driving me crazy and I keep looking at it and looking at it and I'm like, I really don't want to do this. But... I have to but now I'm thinking like okay I have tomorrow to do it I should just do it tomorrow why am I gonna waste my time today then again I have nothing to do today I've done some laundry I still need to fold it you want to come up babe come on you want to come up you always okay come on help me come on help me I'll help you but one come on I can't do, come on I can't do it with one hand mommy can't do it with one hand hold on guys Sorry, when the baby requests something, she gets it. So, um, yeah, so that's going on. Just another update video. Um, and strangely enough, if I do end up going to the chiropractor, guess what is one minute from it? Dollar Tree! Even though it's a shitty one. It would be nice to go once a week or just, you know, kind of pop in whenever I need something versus having to go all the way over there. Oh, you're such a grumpy pants. Why are you grumpy pants? Wow, grumpy pants. So, yeah, didn't mean to get a little crazy here. I love this shirt. It says, love you to the moon and back. You can't really see the back part. There we go. I got that for my girls. Cause that's what I always say to them. Anyways, sorry. Crazy video. Had points to it.
some not so much. So um, take care, everybody, and thank you again for your prayers, your concern, your comments, your messages. Um, if you know me, I am just lazy. I read them. I read every single one of them. I just don't feel like responding or putting an emoji or putting anything, you know. I just love you guys, and I appreciate you guys, and I'm thankful for you guys. So take care, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.